Yo, what's up? Welcome to a more quick video, and today we're doing something with the original Kindle Fire. The original Kindle Fire came out in 2011, and it's so old it doesn't even use like a Qualcomm SOC or whoever makes Snapdragon SOCs. It uses a Texas Instruments SOC, and it has half a gigabyte of RAM. And uh, I happen to have one right here. This is a original Kindle Fire. Now, what are we going to do with it? The original Kindle Fire shipped with Android 2.2.3, but using various things, uh, you can get it to run Android 6, and that's what we're going to be doing today. In this folder, I have a whole bunch of uh, I have a whole bunch of files here. I'm not going to be showing how you have to get the bootloader on it because I'm not that great at making tutorial videos. I'm just going to show you putting it on it and then some basic setup. For this we're going to be using, I believe it is this, the Resurrection Remix uh, Marshmallow ROM just because it has some fancier features in it. Now before we get started I'm going to plug in my stupid iPhone 5S because I it hasn't died yet and I am paranoid because I don't trust this battery. <laughs> Okay, so the first thing we're going to need is we're going to need a micro USB cable. So we go ahead and plug that in. Then you also want uh, ADB, which I have gone ahead and pre-installed on this computer. But then on the Kindle, you'll want to turn it on. Maybe. Did that turn it on? Yeah. And then we'll want to enter recovery mode. This screen is extremely refractive. Oh my god. There we go. So as you can see, here's the TWRP recovery. So then, we'll just plug it into the computer. Hang on. There we go. And then if we look in ADB devices, that's not what I meant to do. If we look in ADB devices, Oh, God damn it, ADB, come on. There we go. As you can see, here's our device, and it says it's in recovery. So, first thing we're going to do is we're going to push the uh, ROM file to our... It's called SD card, but it's actually internal storage. Uh, oh. I forgot how to use ADB. So... It says SD card, but it's actually internal storage. And you also see it's it says it's for Otter X, but this is a Kindle. The short version is Otter X is a bootloader that changes the partition sizes to allow for I think like a larger system partition or like a larger data partition. So you can install ROMs that are only made for the Otter X bootloader instead of the regular bootloader, which is what this ROM is. So yeah, that's why it's called Otter X. We're going to have to push two files here, however, because uh, one of them, or there's a bug that we have to work around in two different ways, and it requires two different files to get the Wi-Fi to work. So, yeah. Come on, ADB, I ain't gone all day. And then we do ADB push. Push, it's called temp touch fix uh, to SD card. So basically, this contains Toybox, which is like an Android equivalent of BusyBox. It's kind of like an all-in-one command tool, and in older versions of CyogenMod, it's broken. And that's part of why the Wi-Fi uh, doesn't work, which I'll go over how to fix that once we get it flashed on here. Anyway, now we have all the files on the Kindle. Let's go show the Kindle. Okay. Here's the Kindle. Apologies for the bad camera angle. I can only do this in so many ways because of the tripod. But we're going to wake it from sleep. And I've already wiped it and everything. So we can go to... Let me focus this. Make sure you can see it. So we could go to install. And then let me zoom in or attempt to zoom in. There. As you can see, we have two files, the ROM and then our fix. So first, we will tap the ROM, and then we'll add another zip, and then temp touch fix. 
So tap that zip, and then uh, swipe to confirm flash. As you can see, it's got it's even got a fancy logo and everything. So this is gonna take a moment, and then once it's done, uh, we'll reboot, or we'll reboot it, and I'll show you the boot process too for this thing, because this ROM actually has a pretty cool boot animation. All right, as you can see. It is done flashing. I've already cleared the cache, but we'll just make sure that the cache is wiped again. Which it should be, because I did it before I started recording. So we can press back, reboot system, and this will reboot into the OtterX boot loader, which is, as far as I could tell, a fork of OtterX. There's the Kindle Fire logo. And then once this comes up, I'm on. I should mention this SOC isn't the fastest thing in the world, and due to its lack of RAM, it doesn't really help with running modern apps. So if you want to try this, just be warned, in my experience, I was not able to get Google Play services working because it's just too slow. There's our ROM, and as you can see, it has a cool boot animation turned into this really cool logo or whatever. And then it just repeats this for a while. So we'll cut the tape and we'll be back once this thing is done booting. Alright, so that took a while, yeah, and I fucked up some of the recording because it was blurry, but now it should be, maybe, come on, there we go, we can swipe up, I'll probably like rotate this post or something, then we can press got it, and we can open the settings, or open the all apps panel. The first thing you're going to want to do right away is uh, this ROM, Resurrection Remix, comes with a kernel auditor app, which you cannot see because I am trying to film a screen. Alright, you know what? We're going to fix this problem right now. We're going to change the theme so that it's not trying to film a completely black screen. comes with two themes. We're going to use this one. As you can see now there's a background, and these nav buttons will change to... I think it would actually be a better idea if I zoomed it out, then rotated it like this, then maybe zoomed it back in a little bit. Uh, uh, that, that, this will do for now. I don't know, trying to film tablets is annoying. Anyway. So the first thing we're going to do is close this, and then also close that. We're going to open what's called the kernel auditor, because this, since this thing has a huge lack of memory, we're going to enable aggressive out-of-memory killer, just so that uh, apps don't sit around and inhale all the memory, because it will run out of memory very quickly. It needs root access, you can have it, allow... Then we tap here at the top right, go down to low memory killer, and we'll tap apply on boot, very aggressive. And that's all that needs, so we can get rid of this. So we close that app. And now I can show you this is Android 6. We can go to settings, scroll down, or not settings, all apps, and we just opened the settings app. Then we scroll down, about tablet, and right there, Android version 6.0. We are running Android 6, it's an ARM7 processor, that's not all the RAM we have, but some of it. Uh, this thing boots with like a RAM disk, so it's obviously going to be missing some of the RAM because it has to use the, the RAM disk. Now the other thing we're going to do right now is we are going to... Enable 
airplane mode because otherwise the Wi-Fi will not work properly and to fix the Wi-Fi we actually have to go back over to the computer so let's go to the computer all right here we are at the computer and let me just give it this Firefox window in this folder I have instructions on how to fix it this was from a XDA thread from eons ago so the first thing we need to do is switch our ADB session to be root so you can do that with, uh, not that, apparently. Alright, I have authorized this. So now we have ADB devices. And now we have the device. So first we gotta switch to ADB root. And then we'll have to reauthorize it, which is just tap OK on the tablet. Then we have to remount the system partitions, which is ADB remount. Then adb shell so what we have to do is we have to edit system this system this their post said bin but it's actually an x bin fixmac.sh so you can do that with nano forward slash system forward slash x bin forward slash fixmac.sh and now we just follow the directions. On line 20, replace this with this. So we can copy this, copy. Then we can press control, line forward, go to line 20, comment this out, press enter, space, 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 paste. Then down here, it also says this in the instructions. On lines 30 and 31, add toy box in front of said. So down here, we can see we have said lines. So we just add toy box space, and then we come down here, toy box space. Then the last line says on line 49, replace this with this. So we copy that. And then that's basically all the way at the bottom of the file. So we can comment this line out. Press enter, press space. All right, there. The next thing we're gonna do is I have instructions to make it do it on auto boot. So this file will be run on boot once we install an app. So we will just type nano space and then paste. Then we can just copy these two lines into the file. Just like that, except we need to get rid of the spaces. Wait, yeah, okay. Then we can save that file. Then we can exit. And we need to do adb unroot. And then on the Kindle, we're gonna have to re verify our adb debug session. Then for then. We have an app here called Universal Init D, so we can do ADB install Universal Init D. This will run that user init script we made every time on boot, which will fix the Wi-Fi. And it's it's pretty easy to set up. All you really have to do, oh, actually, I could probably show you. Here's the tablet. All you do is you go to the app menu. Then universal init D right here at the bottom. You tap that. Then you tap you click test. You always grant it root access. Then you just turn it on. Boop. That's all we needed to do there. Then we can reboot the tablet so adb reboot then once this thing comes back on i'll put some more apps on it and i'll show you what it can and can't really do all right so we've rebooted as you can see i'm connected to wi-fi and i've installed an app i have installed new pipe which is an alternative uh youtube app thing so i can play youtube videos on this kindle it's not very good at it but yeah, so uh, we'll pull up, we'll go to search, 
we will pull up, I don't know, I guess Bringus Studios sounds like a good example. Bring shit. Is that? No, I put an M there. God, I hate typing on this thing sometimes. Bringus Studios. Shit. Is that good enough? Yeah, that's good enough. Okay, so we can go to the Bringus Studios channel. And we'll just, like, I don't know, uh, pick this video. The main problem from what I've seen in my testing of this thing is, uh, it'll play it for a little bit and then it will, like, give up. So, as you can see, it'll start buffering the video. I've turned down the volume, too, so it won't just, like, blast my voice out of proportion. Unless it's already broken. Hey, buddy, are you okay? Uh, oh. Oh, no. Okay, uh, new pipe crashed. That's not supposed to happen. Yeah, okay. Uh, not our K jo Okay, well, uh, I've never seen that happen before. I guess we'll just use the one video that I've always been testing with, since that always works. Uh, it's a Eurobeat remix of... God... Damn it, I hate this keyboard. Reflect. Space. Eurobeat. There. It's a Eurobeat remix of some song a VTuber made. I think it's pretty good, but it also has a little animation. So I can show what's happening better. So this will buffer the video. And it'll probably start playing. Unless it'll just explode again. Because that'd be pretty cool. Oh no, it's actually working. Another cool thing about this ROM is it adds like a audio visualizer thing to the uh, nav buttons on the bottom. Did it just crash already? Really? No. I think it's still going. Hey buddy, are you okay? Yeah, as you can probably tell, this thing would not perform very well in general. If you try to throw like gap or they're called gaps, but they're just like Google apps. But most open source stuff works pretty well. Like I can sometimes convince New Pipe to work, and then like a bunch of stuff on F Droid will probably be fine. So we're just gonna quit playback of this video because clearly it's not working. Yeah, that's about all I got for Android 6 on the Kindle. Just a quick little video I wanted to put out to show you. Yeah, this is a thing you can do if you have a old original 2011 Kindle sitting around. Thanks for watching. I'll put out some other videos at some point. See you around.